Hi everyone, welcome to my annual holiday gift guide. This year I'm going to do it slightly differently in that it's also going to be a kind of mini tutorial as well. So as I'm showing you my favourite gifts and my favourite products of the season, I'm also going to apply them so you can see how they look on the skin and I'm going to create a look. Now it's also obviously a giveaway as well, I always do this every year and all of the products I'm showing you and the products I'm using, obviously new versions of, you can win including a signed copy of my book and a £250 voucher from Beauty Bay. So it's very exciting, let's get started. So we're going to start with some of my favourite eye palettes for this holiday season. And the first one is this one by Givenchy. Love the packaging on the outside, beautiful gold finish. And inside there's four metallic shadows, gold, pewter, bronze and copper. And I like the stars on the top. The next one I really like is this one by Topshop and it's their Smoky palette and I just like it because it's got such unusual colours. The combination of the gold and the green and the browns are just really unusual, I really like that one. The next one I've chosen is the Gritty and Glow palette by the Estee Edit. This has two really quite big palettes in, um, one for eyes and inside there's some really nice dual coloured um, shadows. So mixture of kind of neutrals, blacks and strong blues and greens. And in the more silvery palette, which is the face palette, you've got a mixture of bronzers and sort of highlighters. So good for all skin tones as well. So before I go on to the next eye palette, I've already started my makeup as you can see. I've used the Chanel Sublimage de Tonte Foundation my brows are CQ brow powder and I've got some of the brow gel from Charlotte Tilbury legendary brows and concealer so you can see I've already started my eye makeup and I'm using the new holiday palette by Lancome and this is I'm very proud of this because I designed this. this is my first holiday collection for them and I just love the packaging because it's inspired by one of the vintage compacts in my collection here from the 1930s so it's this really nice sort of fabric-y gold fabric and inside colours are really chic kind of dark bitter chocolate beautiful vintage dusty roses sparkling champagnes and um, these sort of light pearl colours so you can kind of choose whatever look you want with it you can either do a very dark chocolatey eye or you can do what I've done which is just to use the lighter shade so I've used the kind of dusty mauves and um, some of the lighter colours at the inner corner because I'm going to do a dark lip in a little while so I'm keeping it quite light on the eyes and another palette by me funny that is the Audacity London palette and this is one that's not really a holiday palette but it's a nice gift for someone lots of different shades smoky shades um, a mixture of shimmer and mattes and at the bottom you've got these four glitter top coats that you can use on top of any of the other shades just press them on with your finger or you can use them alone, really nice colours. So on to eyeliners, and I've chosen two. The first one is this set by Stila, which has two creamy waterproof pencils and one felt black liquid liner. And they're all in black or brown, so very wearable, great to receive as a gift because they're ones that you could definitely use day in, day out. Very useful gift. And the next one is this felt liquid liner, gold liquid liner from the Guerlain Holiday Collection. Sparkling gold, it's really festive and I'm just going to try this one on now. Oh, I've got a little bit of mascara on, so I'm just going to go behind the mascara. And I love using metallic liners, silvers or golds. Particularly, um, it's nice on a light eye like this, but it also looks really good on top of a kind of smoky eye. It just throws some light behind the lashes. And you think you're not going to be able to see it, but when your eyes open, you just get that nice kind of flash of gold or silver. So finish the liner and put some individual lashes on. Not many, just sort of three or four at the outer corner. So I'm keeping the eyes quite light because there's blush and strong lips to go on. So on to makeup gift sets, so complete face sets. The first one I'm going to show you is this amazing one by Sephora. It's just, look at it. You've got lipsticks, all of these different coloured eyeshadows, quite small um, amounts so you can really experiment and play. Then you've got contour, blusher, eyebrows and cream eyeliner. So everything for the makeup junkie to experiment and play with. So the next gift set is this beautiful one by Marc Jacobs Beauty. 
And inside the gold clutch, you've got some really wearable eyeshadows, bronzer or contour, blush and illuminizer. This all comes out and then it's just literally a gold clutch bag and I love it. I would totally use this as my evening bag and I think that's a really good value gift because compared to how what you'd pay for a Marc Jacobs clutch bag, that and you get all the makeup as well. I think it's really good value for money. A really nice sophisticated palette is this one by Laura Mercier. So inside you've got a nice wearable peachy gloss, two very pretty blushes, a pink and a peach, and four neutral eyeshadows. And it's all in this very fabulous leopard print box. A really nice gift set for someone that doesn't like heavy makeup, so natural makeup lovers, is this one by Glossier. Comes in a nice white box with very chic black ribbon on top. And inside you've got a graphite pencil, so just really nice neutral pencil, baby pink nail polish, halo scope highlighting stick, and just a very clear lip gloss. So that's a really nice one if you just like things glossy. So on to blush palettes and the first one is this one by Becca called Blushed with Light. Really pretty packaging and inside three gorgeous, very wearable, good for lots of skin tones blushes. So next one is the Sarah Moon collection by NARS and this set, firstly, all the packaging in this collection is amazing. If you love Sarah Moon's photography, it's so romantic and I think that they've done such a brilliant job. This is a blush palette with also a highlighter and a lip pencil as well, a lip colour. And the colours are really kind of very much in keeping with Sarah Moon's photography, so very, very romantic and beautiful. Actually, I'm just going to try this deep um, blush now and a little bit of the, mixing with a little bit of the lighter one, so those two. Because I'm going to do a darker kind of berry lip, so this berry colour. And this colour is really good on lots of skin tones, particularly darker skin tones, because it's very pigmented. That's why I'm having to mix it with the lighter one for me, so it doesn't go on too heavy. I'm just going to make a soft sort of C shape with it. It's coming a little bit onto the temples, and then just softly onto the cheekbones. And I'm using my trusty cheek brush, my Suku cheek brush. So I've got two great highlighting palettes. The first one is the Maniza Sisters by The Balm. And you've got Mary Lou, Cindy Lou and Betty Lou. Three different shades, um, great payoff, very creamy. If you want to, the, you can give yourself a really blingy highlighter if you want, because they're very, very strong pigment, or you can dust it on quite lightly. And you can, because there's three different shades, they're good for all different skin tones. You can use them on your eyelids, you can mix them, and um, they're just really good value as well. The next one I've chosen, this is not a holiday collection, but I just love the packaging on this one. And this is Dior, and it's their Nude Air Illuminating Powder. Just such a chic shade. It's very sort of almost slightly rose goldy with a little bit of sort of apricot in there. Very, very beautiful color. I'm gonna apply this myself actually now. But it's so creamy, this powder and it goes on very subtly. You can build up with a brush. It's a very kind of chic, luminous shine. It's got a nice buttery texture. A little bit of that on my top lip. See, now I'm looking all holiday-ish all of a sudden. So on to lips and starting with lip gift sets. This is the first one I've chosen. It's by Smashbox. It's called Light It Up. And it's a collaboration with California neon artist Meryl Pataki. And you can see there's six of their best-selling lipsticks. And at the end here is a mattifying product. So you can put it on. It transforms the lipsticks into matte. And I just love the packaging. It's so gorgeous, bright and modern. More lip gift sets with very eye-catching packaging are these ones by Bite Beauty. So they come in these red tins and then they're in these really nice gold sleeves with the lipsticks kind of photographed on the outside. This one has the creamy matte 
pencil lip colours and this one has four of the mini lipsticks which they call the amuse bouche which is a nice name I always think. Another great one is the intense lip kit by Kiko. Packaging is fantastic, will come in these really festive red boxes and inside you get a lipstick and a matching lip pencil and they come in eight different colours. This one is the red which is fantastic. Some individual lipsticks that make really nice gifts are this one by Lano Lips is really nice, comes in a nice kind of tree decoration and that's great for dry lips so good for this time of year. The Topshop Individual Bullets. This one is particularly good, it's called Covert. It's a very dark matte black current, really, really dark and it's so on trend that colour. And then again, Bite Beauty, their kind of limited edition holiday collection has these lips all over the box, which I love. And inside, again, you've got the lips printed on the packaging, so that's very cool. So for my look, I'm going to use the creamy matte pencil from the Bite Beauty gift set. And this one is called Truffle, really dark. So I'm going to go all over my lips. And because it's a pencil, I can use it to shape as well. When you're using these dark shades, they tend to make thin lips look thinner. So my lower lip is tends to be thinner anyway, so I need to kind of cheat it. A really fun gift for anyone who just loves makeup but also loves sweet things are these biscuits by Biscuiteers. You can get mascaras and lipsticks, blushes and eyeshadow palettes and um, they deliver anywhere around the world and you get this lovely box with all these delicious makeup items in. Really good fun. So for nails I've chosen this duo by Deborah Lipman and it's great quality polish. I actually chose these sets in my gift um, guide last year but I just think they are the most festive nail kits around. You get a cream colour and you get a glitter top coat and you can use them separately or together and you can play around and the packaging is just great. Then on my own nails I'm wearing the Lancome holiday collection. Here I go plugging my own designs again. Uh, the dark shade underneath is Hotel Particulaire and then the rose coloured glitter on top is Paris on Rose. So there'll also be a signed copy of my book in this giveaway. Let me know which language you would prefer from English, French, German or Russian and a £250 voucher from Beauty Bay, so you can choose whatever you like. So all of the products I've featured, including the ones I've used on myself, new versions obviously, are available in the giveaway. So what you need to do now is just leave a comment, maybe letting me know your two top favourites, and if you are lucky enough to be one of the winners, I will send your present out to you. Hopefully you'll get it in time for the holidays. So that all that's left to say is have a wonderful holiday season with friends and family and I'll see you soon.